I've been playing around with Next.js for the past couple weeks and I've found something pretty interesting. So you know how API routes are now mainly used just for webhooks since the app router, server actions, and all that good stuff? What I found interesting about this is that it offers you more of an express-like experience when it comes to your API. It's lightweight and we've actually used it on the channel before when setting up APIs on the edge with Cloudflare. So the coolest thing about it is I just stumbled upon this page in their documentation. Pretty easy to set up, so I'll just walk you guys through it. If you couldn't guess by now, yes, we're using Hano. And the cool part about this is that Next.js uses edge functions and this pairing right here is basically perfect. If you've been watching my videos, every time we've been doing anything edge related, we've just used Hano for the API. And a big part of that has actually been Cloudflare. And if I'm not mistaken, Vercel actually under the hood uses Cloudflare workers for their edge functions. So I was actually wondering if anything like this actually existed. And to get you started, I'll have the repo in the description. Basically the main branch is the finished product and then you'll have another branch called called base. This is probably what you want to clone and just follow along. But yeah, the link is in the description. Once you have the project cloned, you'll notice that we're using bun for the package manager. Feel free to change it to something else like PNPM. I know bun is not fully stable yet with Next.js, but I just use it anyway, because why not? I don't plan on releasing this to production anytime soon. This is mainly just to show you guys this. But yeah, this is a pretty bare bones project. If you look at the source folder, you'll see that we have the app in here. We have API slash posts. And in here, we just have a get route. I have a hard code coded posts array. This is just for demo purposes. We're not using an actual database for this. And all this does is just returns a list of posts. Then we have a page and this page, all it has is a list of posts. And if we go in here, I'm not using any libraries for this. I'm just doing a straight up fetch call. This is a server component. And once we get our posts, we pretty much just map over them and create that list. The main focus here though, is just going to be the API. So we're going to convert this route into one that uses Hano. And the first thing that we want to do for that is actually just just install Hano, so I'll do a bun add Hano. With that installed, we're pretty much ready to use Hano. So the first change that you're going to see here is that in the API folder, we want to create another folder and the name of this one might seem a little strange, but it's going to be square brackets then square brackets again, then dot 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 route. And then in here, we can then finally have the route.ts. Basically what this does is anytime anyone goes to any route, it will hit this one file. Just a catch all for any requests coming in. They're all going to go through here. We'll delete the post folder in a little bit, but let's just focus on the Hano API. The first thing that we want to do is just import Hano. So I'll do import Hano from Hano. Then we want to import handle. This will come from Hano slash Vercel. This is basically to just take those requests coming in, handle them and map them to the right handler in our API. Next, we also want to do an export for the runtime as edge. So I'll do export const runtime is equal to edge. This is for a lot of performance reasons, but we won't get into that in this video. Now we can create the API. So I'll just do const API is equal to new Hano. So we'll create a new Hano app. And then I'll also set the base path actually to be slash API. This will just prefix any single route that we add to this API as slash API. So if we end up adding posts via slash post, it'll be slash API slash post. Pretty straightforward. It's the same way that the base handler does it. So we're all used to that. We just have two things left to do in this file. So we'll do an export const get and this is equal to handle API. And we'll do the same thing for post. This basically just means any get requests, handle them through our API and the same for post requests. The post one might get tricky depending on the middleware that you're using. So definitely pay attention to that. But now let's work on the post router. So I'll just create another file in here. There's no real convention for this. I just found that I want to have all my routers in the same place. So I'll do posts.ts. Before I add any Hano stuff in here, I'll just go in here and copy these two things. I'll want my post interface and the list of posts. So I'll just paste that in here. The list of posts is nothing too crazy. This is just my first post trying out the app, subscribe for more content, like the video, and let me know what you want to see next. But now we can do a const app is equal to new Hano and make sure to also import this. Now the basic Hano route, I'll We'll just do an app.get. My copilot already knows this. So it'll just be an app.get to slash posts. And it looks like it's not grabbing the context in here, but you're supposed to grab the context and then do c.json and then pass the posts in there. Also make sure to export default your app. That's probably the last thing in here. So then we can just go back in here. And in this catch all, all we want to do is just import the posts router. So I'll do post router from posts. And to connect this to our API, we'll just do api.route slash posts and then pass in the post router. This should basically connect all of it for us. We can now finally get rid of this folder. So I'll delete this. 
So everything is looking pretty good. We can finally go to the terminal and just do a bun run dev. With everything started up, we can just go to our local host. And it looks like I had a small mistake in here. If we go into the post router, it's not supposed to be slash post. It's supposed to be just a regular slash. And that's because we're using slash posts here. So that endpoint ended up being slash API slash posts slash posts again. But yeah, if we go back to the terminal, everything's compiling properly. And on the browser, we're getting that list of posts again. One thing to keep in mind though is that this doesn't save us from being able to do any sort of like super heavy computations on this API. There's still a timeout limit on all of this so keep that in mind but if you were just looking for a cleaner way to structure your API or just maybe a familiar way of doing it if you were using things like Express this is definitely it. I love using Hano so I'm gonna keep using it but yeah.